Hey there! Hello and welcome to the technical section of Biopandit. This is Saurav, your very own Mahapandit. And today I'm going to discuss about what are the differences between a blossom matrix and a PAM matrix. The choice of a scoring system, including scores for matches, mismatches, substitutions, insertions, and deletions, influences the alignment of protein sequences. To score matches and mismatches in alignments of proteins, it is necessary to know how often one amino acid is substituted for another in related proteins. Percent accepted mutation or PAM list the likelihood of change from one amino acid to another in homologous protein sequences during evolution. Therefore, PAM is focused on tracking the evolutionary origins of proteins. In contrast, the BLOX amino acid substitution matrix or BLOSSOM are based on scoring substitutions found over a range of evolutionary periods. The most important point about BLOSSOM matrices are first, Blossom matrices are not based on any explicit evolutionary model. They are derived considering all amino acid changes observed in an aligned region are from a related family of proteins, regardless of the overall degree of sequence similarity included in your data. The proteins used to derive the matrix should share a common ancestry and therefore they should be functionally related. This gives a biological meaning to the substitutions you are working on. They are occurring to maintain the respective function of the protein. In order to derive the matrices, you perform gapless local alignment of the blocks of sequences. On the other hand, PAM matrices are based on mutational models of evolution, which assumes that amino acid changes occur as a Markov process, with each amino acid change at a site being independent of the previous changes at that site. The PAM matrices are based on scoring all amino acid positions in related sequences, whereas the blossom matrices are based on substitutions and conserved position in blocks, which represents the most alike common regions in related sequences. The PAM model is thus designed to track the evolutionary origin of proteins, whereas blossom model is designed to find their conserved domains. The choice of which matrix to use depends on the goals of the investigator. A Blossom 80 matrix is comparable to a PAM1 matrix since Blossom 80 would group 80% identical proteins. It would correspond to a smaller evolutionary distance between them, while a Blossom 45 matrix would be equivalent to PAM250. So the Blossom matrices with larger numbers are compared to PAM matrices with smaller numbers.